Hello guys, and welcome to this Easy Aquatics video. Have you ever wondered if you could just collect the leaves that, that you see on the ground when you're walking out in the woods and place them in your aquarium? Well, the answer is yes, but there are a few notable exceptions and things that you need to pay attention to if you want to place leaves in your aquarium that you just collect from the ground. Many companies will sell leaves online that you can buy and place in your aquarium and those will be safe but they're often very expensive and just add to the cost of, the, of an aquarium. So why not collect some leaves that are outside and free? Things, some things to remember about leaves is that they will decrease the pH of your aquarium and at the same token, the, the hardness of your aquarium will also decrease. So not every fish will want an aquarium with leaves because not every fish enjoys soft water and water with a low pH. Like African cichlids, mollies, and swordtails enjoy water with a high pH and a high water hardness and will not do well in an aquarium with low pH and low heart, which the leaves will provide. The leaves will also release tannins, which will turn your water brown. And it's a nice aesthetic in some tanks, but some people don't really like it. There's a whole style of these tanks called black water tanks, and they're designed to simulate the natural environment of certain fish. I'll pop up a couple photos of natural black water tanks and natural rivers that are black water, like the Amazon and the Rio Xingu and Amazon, Amazonian tributaries in Brazil are often black water. So fish like neon tetras, cory catfish, bristlenose plecos, autosynclus, and epistogramma come from these areas and would greatly benefit with leaves in their aquariums being added and their tanks being black water scapes. So in this bucket, I've collected some leaves that are usable in an aquarium. These are magnolia leaves right here. I've got some oak leaves as well, and I've also got some birch leaves, like this one right here. These are all hardwood leaves, and those are generally safe to be used in an aquarium. I'll pop up a detailed list of some leaves that can be used that I didn't mention right now up on the screen. Leaves from evergreen trees, like these pine needles, and maple are not good to be used in, in aquariums. They release too much acidity and have other toxins in them that make them poisonous to fish and will actually kill the fish in your tank. So I do not recommend using them in your aquariums. I recommend sticking to hardwoods that have been proven by other people to work. Even if you do collect these hardwoods, if you live in an area where there's lots of pesticide or fertilizer use, don't use the leaves because pesticides and fertilizers are toxic to your fish so you would end up killing them. So only collect leaves from a from a yard if you know that you have not used pesticides or fertilizers. And also don't collect leaves if you live in an area that has bad air quality because that air pollution will be absorbed by the leaves through photosynthesis and then will release into your aquarium as the leaves slowly break apart. And that is also toxic to your fish. A good place to collect leaves is in woods. If you have woods around where you live, I would suggest going there and collecting leaves because there is a much less high likelihood that the leaves there will be covered in pesticides or fertilizers. Collect leaves that are not decomposing, that do not have holes in them, like this, but collect them that are fallen because they will not have any harmful sap in them and will be ready to be boiled. When leaves are starting to decompose, they will break apart very quickly in your aquarium and just dirty up the water and not add any aesthetic benefits to your tank. To make the leaves safe for your aquarium, simply bring a pot of water to a rolling boil, take some leaves and add them into the pot. You're gonna want to have them boil for about five minutes. You don't want them to boil too much because then they won't release any tannins into the water. But this, but this way, you will destroy all the bad microorganisms and potential harmful 
bacteria that are in the leaves currently and prevent them from entering your tank. Once your leaves have boiled for about five to 10 minutes, lay them out on a tray and allow them to dry. Once they're dry, they should be safe to go into your aquarium and they should also sink a lot quicker now that they've been boiled. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you all in the next one.